This is Power 95, and we are inside of the ladies' room. Gotta say, top of the morning. Going out to the one and only Will Cambridge. Talpree, good morning. Your mother. You know how I say morning. This is how I say morning. That's oh, right. <laughs> I know, I know, I know you like mornings, you know, especially at a certain time of the year. Mornings are um they work in your favor. You know well, what I mean? Well, Juve, Juve morning is number yeah, one. That's what I mean. Juve morning. I mean, you know, that that's the time that you shine. You know, you're in your, you're in your element at that you point know, in time. You know how it goes. But Juve anywhere in the world, same thing. Anywhere in the world, same thing. Talpri, what part of the world are you in right now? All right now, just it's just around Miami. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, it's gonna be a mad weekend. Just read about an hour ago. On the way to the apartment, and I see 11 o'clock, and mm -hmm. I say, okay, wait, catch my start at 11 o'clock. So I just pull over, mm -hmm. and right now in a conference room, ask the people to use the conference room, and yeah. I'm in a conference room. <laughs> we, 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 that's important, boy. You take the people to the conference room to do it to you this morning, boy. Oh, you mean? Yeah, I thought I thought you were actually looking for the shell inside of there. That's probably why you stopped. No, 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 I just realized it's, it's time and I say eleven o'clock. So we mm. had the at the bank and I just said, um, can I use your conference room? And I said, Why not? I, yeah. And there we are, it's power FM. Well, I'm there. How could you tell the job no? You can't yeah. I mean <laughs> You understand. You can't no tell means the job. yes to no. job job. Remember that. To job job for certain things. Yeah, right. no All means right. it. <laughs> All right, Talpri, tell me something. You're not in Grenada right now. We haven't had Spice Mass for two years. But right now, you're in a space where events are happening and you're able to, you know, do what you do best, you know, present your unique skill to your fans. Mm -hmm. How has that been for you in terms of hitting the stage after not being able to do so for such a long period of time like all other artists? Well, I've never, I've never been to prison, but I feel like I got to compare that to having a two years lockdown in prison and then get released. Yeah. I feel like I could compare that. Um, it's just, I just feel like, you know, so free because remember, this is what we do. This is my life. This is what entertainers do. We make music. We perform for our people. We tour the world and this is how we survive. This is our family. Mm -hmm. feed this is just our way of life and mm -hmm. you know not having that for two years and more you know it's it just i mean we never looked nobody could anticipate something so ever happening I and think... especially in grenada or carnival being on the rise you know one of the, the carnival to contend with the one of the the most rising carnival in the world right now and the lockdown just happened right there you i mean we've been preparing i've been preparing down the line you know, the mass band, the songs, the videos, the, the recordings, you know, you're doing things prepared and then it just get a total lockdown, you understand? So it's like everything just take away from you. So yeah. imagine that freedom now. Just imagine how you feel to go out there again and perform and do what you do. Now tell yeah, me man. something. Obviously, you haven't seen your fans for a while. How tricky is it for you to interact with them now given everything that is going on with the pandemic and so on you know some of them will want to get close some of them will want to come and take a picture and so on and so forth how, how are you dealing with that part of it it is very very tricky you have to pray <laughs> you have to just pray that everything is safe <laughs> and to leave it in the hands of mm -hmm. God right there because you know that's how I that's how we do it that's how I do it mm -hmm. all the time with the fans' interaction, as you say, a picture, a hug. When a fan comes to you, what do you do? Yo, stay away. You know, Yo. it, it's, it's very <laughs> tricky. Know, and you know, your it's voice tricky. is going to make it any easier, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your voice is going to make it know. any easier. Yo. And, and you know how it is. That's a love. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. So it's, it's very tricky. Yeah, I mean, boy. sometimes we do the mask. Sometimes, you know, if you're going to perform, if you're going to drink, you got to take it out. 
Mm-hmm. So some of them will have it, but it, it is very tricky, man. It's just that I hope and pray that everything is good. Yeah. Talking about the mask and so on. Um, well, we all know what's happening in Grenada. We had the spike and things are kind of trend, trending, trending in the right direction where cases yeah. are, are going down. You know, the amount of active cases. Now, what would you say is your is the biggest takeaway or observation from the events that you've gone to and performed at? And I know you even had your own event across there. Um, in yeah. terms of protocols and them being able to, people being able to have some sense of normalcy. What would you say is the biggest takeaway from that for you? Um, listen, what could we learn you, from it? Then? What? What could we learn from it? What do you say? The thing is, I think if, like in Grenada, we, we are above, we are above out here. New York and places, I'm in Grenada, follow much more protocols than out here, because when you go to the Fed. We have the feds and there is no mandate of mass mandate or or, mm-hmm. or um, well, this some... social distancing and nothing like that. You well, know we... what I think. What I think happened is mm-hmm. the vaccination drive out here. It's been there, and I think they more pushed on that that mm-hmm. a lot of people feel more safe that they are vaccinated. So I think they go to the events like, man, I'm vaccinated. I'm, I'm I feel more safe. If even I know, though I contract the virus, it wouldn't be deadly or, or you know. So mm-hmm. I think my thinking is that's what they go. You understand? No. So I'm, I've been encouraging from day one, be vaccinated. I, 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 I'm fully vaccinated. Mm-hmm. And I have a family, I have friends, I have fans. So please, and make sure that it's safe. So from day one, I've been, you know, pushing that, get the vaccination. And I think the whole world, would end up coming to that at some point. You understand? So I take a lead on it. With no no holds bar. Yeah, I remember you did say that you were fully vaccinated and so on and so forth. And we see um that in a, in order to do certain things in the States, and even here mm-hmm. now, like there's a mandate here that that um, the Prime Minister mentioned on Tuesday. Like if it is you want to go to the restaurant here to dine in, you need to be fully vaccinated. And I know yeah. that's something that's been happening overseas as well. And I also yeah. understand, I've seen certain events as well, that in order to partake, you either show a negative PCR within a certain amount of time, I think it's what, two, three days or something, and um, or show that you're you're fully vaccinated. Well, but I've seen events mm-hmm. where you take the test right at the, at the, at the, at the door. Mm-hmm. There's a line. For who if you show the vaccination, you go in easier. Mm-hmm. If 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 you don't, you take the test and you wait until it's 15 or 20 minutes. And then you get to go in. So it makes it easier in a lot of ways if you're vaccinated. Um I'm used to the restaurants and and stuff like dining in. If you are fully vaccinated, you can dine in. If you're not, you're gonna stay out and and you know, mm-hmm. do what you do. Do I understand? So I think it's a drive, basically the drive, the vaccination drive, it's safety. And, you know, I think that's a drive. That, that's what it works. And being safe as well, you know, because um, uh, we're seeing what's happening in the States, right? And we tend to take a page from their book with sometimes with what we do here and what we implement here as well, you know. But um, again, for those who may be on the fence of being vaccinated, I think it's important to follow the right information. Of course. You know? Because there's a lot of information out there that 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 is unfortunate at this point in time. Yep, like everybody, every man can make their own decision. Everybody, you know, I mean, in a different position. Sometimes we have some sort of underlying issue or something. I mean, every every situation is different. But in general, I would say, man, I know I have asthma. Some of my kids have asthma, Mm -hmm. and. My thing was safety for my, me and my family. At first, when I weighed the pros and the cost, I realized, well, if you're fully vaccinated, according to the doctors and the scientists, and you contract the virus, it, it, it would not be detrimental, detrimental basically. You the understand? Odds, and I think, the odds, you know, are, the odds it, are definitely in your favor once you're fully vaccinated. That's me, I do. So yeah. I wait out and say, hell yeah, why mm-hmm. not? 
Yeah, it's like it's like I had a one of my um lab friends on the show, and he did he compared being vaccinated to a house surveillance system. It's like say you build your house, mm -hmm. are you going to necessarily wait until a burglar comes inside before you put up say a security system to protect yeah. it? Whereas if it is you have the security system, you could see if it is somebody wants to invade on your premises, and you know your, your your guard is up as opposed yeah. to the person reach inside your place and then you figuring out, well, oh Lord, he catch more off guard what to do. Yeah, you know what I mean? All right. Talpri, tell me something. You did the video. Yeah, man. You did the video. I always like it when artists, especially when you have a song that is trending, you don't wait until the song dies down before you do the visuals. You know? Yeah. Some do the visuals before, some do it during the the thing. Right? Yeah. How did the concept come about? Because I saw you on the beach and so on and so forth. You had the shell and whatnot. And somebody yeah. asking on Facebook if, you, if it is your um, find the shell yet. Yeah. Well, well, it's the shell that I said I, I live in the song. You know, I said I lie down on the beach. And mm -hmm. I, I woke up my shell. That's where I saw the shell. You mm -hmm. know, and, I, and I, it's a story. So I think, um, you know, Arthur Daniels did a good job in putting the story together. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, it, we didn't want to go the, the regular way with the with the video and jump up in our face and uh, you know and when this is a story the song is basically a story why not we go along with the storyline and you know bring something different to people so that mm -hmm. was done and I think it, it it came across very well I see you know it's a lot of love the videos just drop and I feel a lot of love so uh, that's why I'm here to push the song want to be in every fit make the people know. Grenada, the tune gone. Grenadians everywhere in the world, the tune gone. So my my um, aim right now is just to the rest of the world. And it's been, you know, it's been touching Grenadians, it's been touching everywhere. But I need mm -hmm. to just be out here and put the icing on the cake and go Grenada again, go Michelle again. Well, I'm glad that you're doing that because I was talking to Ricardo Drew yesterday and I asked him, now that, you know, we haven't had any regional carnivals, the challenge for artists to deliver new material on stage. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Are you yeah. seeing any challenge with that or no. not? No, man. I, I, I even love to tell the tune. I have concepts in my head already how I'm going to tell the tune, what I'm going to say, because we know the situation. As you said, there was no kind of a build up in Grenada where the tune gets marketing, people come and they. They leave great and doing the tunes and there was nothing like that. So it's a pure marketing strategy now. So mm -hmm. do a lot. I'm doing a lot that I normally wouldn't do. You know, because you gotta adjust, you gotta make adjustments. You understand? So you gotta make adjustments. I'm here to promote uh -huh. and I'm doing that. Yeah, I know you're doing that big time. No, I saw you put up on Instagram that you were at a funeral <laughs> and you performed that song, <laughs> right? And I had to ask myself, is this a funeral or, or is this a, a, a party? Because, you know, a funeral is normally a sad occasion. So how, 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 how did that happen? Well, um, remember that, that's how we do things greater than no one else. I'm not sure what other places you have a happy hour, you know, because most of the time, so that was my aunt's funeral, and mm -hmm. she is the type that would go out there and have fun. She would have a funeral, she would support family, and she would go out there, and it was just a love. She would show love, and we know she just wanted to have a good, she would have wanted us to have a good time, and everybody have a good time in the area. Mm -hmm. And it was just that, was fun. Came and said he want to make sure she go out in a nice way. There was music, food, drinks after the funeral, and it was just I was surprised. You know, there was no performance. I was not scared, dude, and nobody, you know, thought right. I would even perform. It was so, but everyone was just when you say something for your hand, go. And as I hold the mic, it was just pure energy yeah. and madness, and you know that. That, that song that is something about it. So it was, that, it was that, different. That, that was different, boy. You can't. It, it was you. very. Never would you tell me that in a funeral I would hear Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, listen to me. Yeah, man. 
I, 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 I was not expecting that. We're getting ready to wrap up, so I'm just going to ask you two more questions here. You did pre-day. Yeah. How was that received? It was crazy. Um, I must say that the venue, the owners, they stopped taking people in at a, at a point. And we just had to deal with it. I mean, a lot of some people had their tickets, I'm sure. I still have to apologize to these people who couldn't get in with their tickets. You understand? They mm -hmm. decided the capacity, you know, it's, it's wow. up to the brim and there's no more coming in. The energy inside it was crazy. When the artist started to tear the government of myself, problem child, the rest of the artists couldn't get to perform. But it was mm -hmm. just pure energy. The support was there. And I must say thank you to my people all over the world who keep supporting Tal Free and mm -hmm. Grenada Music and Jab Jab Music. We, we couldn't do this without you. You can't take the job away from Grenada. At Definitely. All. At all, at all, at all. And it's so good to see like artists like Temptress and all getting a yeah, lot of... Yeah, man. Temptress has gone a long time. A lot of love. Temptress playing in every oh. set, everywhere. Ask something for you I was talking to Natty. Uh -huh. And Natty say, tell, well, we, we came to the consensus that had there been a Spice Mask this year, Michelle uh -huh. would have won Road March, right? Yeah. That, I, I mean, I was talking to I was talking to I was talking to Natty and Looney Spark. And I uh -huh. think Looney Spark brought up, you know, well, we all know if it is, it had Mass, Michelle, based on what was happening, it would have won Road March. And uh -huh. then Natty jump up and say, well, Scratch, remember, we didn't release nothing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? What? Yeah. Out of fun, what would you say to that? Tell me, Buck, full effect. <laughs> Last year was a warm-up. Tell uh, me, <laughs> look out. Yeah, that's that. Because, I mean, you can see it. The energy, the everything is at a different level. So, young fellas, watch it. In a, I'm right here. <laughs> Talpre is back. Naughty. Remember, I told you, Talpre is back. Trust me, somebody go tell him. Eh? Somebody go tell him. But you I know, know, he's probably listening right now, too. Yeah, but one thing, one big observation as a DJ, I could tell you with um the song Michelle, right? <laughs> the way Michelle is written, you have to play the whole song. You cannot yep. cut Michelle. I have not heard one DJ cut Michelle after the first verse. And, <laughs> and that was a plan in writing. And okay. in writing because I seen certain songs all day. I think young Emmy had this song, you know, and right to wait a certain line down in the close to the end. Even um there's this song from Governor. Mm -hmm. No, it's um, still from the like a Trinidad. You have to wait until this song reaches a certain point because, you know, it, it wouldn't be completed. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So in writing, with the story, the hook, and everything, you got to reach that point. And, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, while writing, I had to navigate and make sure I get to a point. I just want to make sure the story be told. You know, the entire story has to be told, you know? So, that's yeah, what I do. All right. Finally, Talpri, before you go, because I know you're in Miami, I can see you have some nice weather in the back there and some... Yeah, yeah. So, the hot. Yeah. So, the hot in the place blazing. Nah, Miami Heat is a different thing. I mean, Miami Heat is not only the basketball team. Trust me. Yeah, the Heat yeah, Miami, yeah. It's, it's different. It's different. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most? For Miami Carnival? It's been a while. So just connecting to the fans, running out on stage and just mash up the place, bring the energy, mm -hmm. make them know green that is here, tall free is here. And mm -hmm. we continue to bring that vibe, that energy, that music. We have it. It ain't mm -hmm. going nowhere. And I'm mm -hmm. here to continue that trend. I basically started it years ago, 20 something years ago, and, and it's just continuation. It's not going to finish. The energy here and done. So Miami. <laughs> somebody you that, better know that. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody. Somebody. I know that. 
Somebody's asking here if it is you remember the poems that you used to write in Boca. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe one of them, which I didn't get in trouble for, when I wrote a poem on the school and the headman title, which was Edward Spitz and Time. Uh-huh. And you know, I was writing the poem, and the teacher came and saw me writing a poem while she teaching, sent for the headmaster. Like I thought I was in trouble. Then asked me to go recite what I was writing while she teaching or subject. Mm-hmm. Went up there, did it, and the whole place catch up fire. The headmaster laughing, she laughing, the students laughing. He ended right. up putting me in a in a, a competition. They had a poetry competition. Uh-huh. You know, so it was not me paying the penalty. It was, you know, there's a plus for me. So this is one of the points that stick. Now, yeah, tell them that one stuck in my head. All right, Talpri. Thanks for joining us inside of the ladies' room today. Have a safe Miami Carnival and get back here safe as well. And continue to good work and looking forward to the music as usual. All right? Yeah, man. No love, no thanks. Yeah, man. And people, and people them, done them, done them. <laughs> All right. Have a Bless good one. Yes, man. That was Talpri inside of the ladies' room today. Shout out to everybody on Facebook that got involved and heard the conversation. Yeah, man. Talented brother. Good to see that he's enjoying himself in Miami and so on and getting ready for carnival across there. We got to big up the sponsors that made it happen as well. Talking about the ladies' room, we got uh, big up to Beacon Insurance, also Western Union and S. Kumar Variety Store. All of them making the ladies' room happen right here on Power.